Carbohydrates are one of the four basic kinds of organic molecules. They're used to store energy in the form of sugars or starches, and many of them are also used to form complex structures such as the cellulose polysaccharide that is used to form the cell walls of plants. Now the basic monomer of carbohydrates is known as a monosaccharide, which we can put together to form disaccharides and polysaccharides. Let's take a closer look at the monosaccharides. A monosaccharide is a chain of anywhere from five to eight carbons with some hydrogens and some OH groups on them. Here we see a couple of monosaccharides in their chain form. Now you can take these chains and also circularize them as we see over here with this glucose ring. Now if you take a couple of monosaccharides and put them together, you get a disaccharide. As we see here, here is the monosaccharide known as glucose and another common monosaccharide called fructose. When we pull out some water, we can join them together to form a very common disaccharide called sucrose. That's the table sugar that you know and love so much from cereal. Other disaccharides that you might encounter include lactose, which is that milk sugar that gives some people some problems. Now, this is one, this is two, mono and di. After that, scientists got kind of bored and just kind of lumped them together into many. A root word that we use for the many is poly. So a polysaccharide is a whole group of these monosaccharides joined together, just like we did with the disaccharides. I only drew four of them here, but in reality, a starch molecule like this would be made out of hundreds or thousands of these glucose molecules joined together. Now, you can see this and this look very similar, but some tiny structural changes. Like here, you'll see that the CH2OH group is sticking up all the time. Here, it alternates. And those tiny changes can make some big structural and functional differences. This molecule here, this polysaccharide, is starch, the stuff that's in french fries and you get so much yummy goodness out of. This is cellulose. If you ate this instead of getting mmm, you would get ow, splinters. So these tiny changes can make some big differences in the chemical and structural functions of these molecules. Some other polysaccharides that you might encounter include glycogen, which is an animal version of starch that is stored in your liver and muscles for um, common release. There's also some polysaccharides that are used on the surfaces of your membranes that are involved in cellular recognition. So there you go. That's carbohydrates.